this bag. I gotta get water in here too. Got some fruit. And in the bag, we have the classic barbecue potato chips. I didn't get the grippos this time. Got some pop secret. Um, two little small bags of Schneider's pretzels. Sugar cookies. I made some cookies. Um, M&M's for Mr. And I got two Reese's down there. And some peanut butter crackers. And applesauce. Let me put that with the cold stuff. Chick-fil-A sauce, just in case sometimes you need a sauce on a different restaurant you go to. Just a little stuff, salt. I got ketchup, napkins, so just a little stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. Come on along with us for another road trip. We're heading down south, y'all. We're headed to see Isaiah for the weekend. Spend some time with him. Uh, it's Easter weekend. We're usually always at home for Easter weekend. Um, so we decided to get on the road, go spend some time with him. Um, it's going to be real nice there, too. The weather will be. So um, just headed out for the weekend. Decided to do something different. And y'all, we will try to take y'all along. So we were so happy about that. So the last two times we've come, or rather last time and this time, we tried some more budget-friendly hotels since we came spur of the moment. And we have other stuff going on. So it was nice, very clean. So let's see how this day goes. Back on campus. You know, sometimes you just want to lay your eyes physically on your child and not just on FaceTime. So we was missing Isaiah and we just came on down. It was Easter weekend. We didn't have nothing to do. So it's a perfect time for a road trip. They have a beautiful campus, I must say. And this was a Saturday afternoon and there were not a lot of students out. And Isaiah said a good amount of uh, students, they travel home on the weekends. So it's kind of quiet around there on the weekends. Okay, I don't mean for this to sound as a comparison, mm -hmm. but as you all know, my daughter went to the rival school, Alabama a and &M. We heard Alabama a and &M's band every time we were there. The band was all over the campus. You can hear the band. It seems like just everywhere, and it was just the most awesome thing. I have yet to see this whole band perform, so I'm looking forward to that.
So we found this place called Wing Masters, and it was kind of eclectic as far as it served many things. It was Chinese owned, y'all, but it was pretty good. It was like a mix of soul food and, um, you know, wings, and you got the fried fish, and you got sandwiches, burgers, but it was good. I have to say it was good. So we'll probably try there again. I'm going down for breakfast. I hope it's better than the last time. Better than the last time, meaning the last time we came and stayed at the Days Inn. Sometimes it just does not pay to save a dollar. By the time you go out and pay for breakfast, you might as well have stayed at a nice hotel and had breakfast included. So, I don't know about the budget hotels next time. They were clean, but not good breakfast. We are on our way to church. with what it means for us today as Christians throughout the world to celebrate a resurrected Savior. We thank you for all that you are doing and what you will do. And we are asking that you be honored, that you be satisfied with our sacrifice, that you be satisfied with our acts of praise, service, and love as we lift up your name today. You are so we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We invite all of our worshipers to the stage. Come on, come on, come on. We don't have our traditional setup. Everybody is invited to the table this morning, to the table of Jesus Christ. He is inviting us with his arms stretched out. And we're going to explore what that means. But as we prepare our hearts, as the new people are coming up to worship, this first song. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to see your prayer list. I'm so glad you're in I'm so glad you came to save us. This was such a beautiful service, you all. Um, I cannot tell you how nice the pastoral staff was, the, the members. Everyone was just so nice. And you couldn't tell it by just looking at the stage, but it was multicultural in the audience. And they served a wonderful dinner afterward. Big dinner. We had a great time. Okay. If you come to Montgomery, you have to come to Montgomery Whitewater. We had heard about it and we said we have to go, even, you know, just to see. We know we weren't going Whitewater rafting that day, but we had to see. So we went and I was amazed. We were amazed. We didn't know what to expect once we got in there. But look at this, y'all. Man-made in Montgomery, Alabama. <laughs> I think they only have one other one in the country, one or two other ones, but in Montgomery, y'all, yes. So we had said when we come back to pick Isaiah up from school that we were gonna, you know, make an appointment to go because you have to, you know, set a reservation to actually do this. So we called, they are booked up. They are booked up in May. So we're going to try to go ahead and book far out for when he goes back to school for fall semester. We were so excited. My husband, we are not like water people like that, but this looks so fun. We said we had to do it and uh, we cannot wait. And we will definitely see if we keep our nerves up and we actually go back to do this. Ooh, that, that uh, car take you fast. Ooh, 
we, y'all? I don't know. They stuck. <laughs> oh, this looks a little nerve-wracking. It looks so fun, but it's nerve-wracking at the same time. I don't know. I don't know about this. What an experience. Now, <laughs> we plan to go, but I don't know, y'all. This, this look a little much, but it looks like big fun. And you know what? This is quite the little big city, if you know what I mean. There's enough going on without there being too much going on. I know every city has its good and bad points, and uh, but Montgomery seems like a nice little town it's like a town city uh, I love the buildings here they are gorgeous the downtown is just awesome I want to venture out into the residential area next time so hopefully we can do that but we stopped by to see Miss Rosa Parks and some of the other civil rights things um, that are displayed throughout the city and it's just a wonderful thing to see your history displayed the wires were in the way but this building was absolutely stunning the architecture here is amazing the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church where Martin Luther King was pastor and this museum is a must see we came here about a year ago it was everything This is a beautiful memorial statue dedicated to Rosa Parks. As you can see, it looks like she is sitting on nothing. It is so clever and creative. I know there's not a lot of talking in this vlog, y'all, but I didn't want to stick the camera in their faces, you know, all the time. We just wanted to enjoy ourselves on this trip. So even though I filmed, I didn't want the camera in everybody's face. But uh, this man had us tickle a while, y'all. He was pumping his 70s old school, riding around with his rims on this golf cart. He was too cool for anybody. <laughs> One of the infamous chairs in the Montgomery Brown. On to Baumhauer's, one of the nicest bar and grills I've been to. Meaning it's decorated 
just perfect for a bar and grill and the food is so good they have a big selection of different kinds of food something for everybody and we enjoyed it and we got a chance to catch up on the games too ended up getting the pot roast bowl it was delicious good comfort meal my husband got fish tacos BJ got a quesadilla type platter and Isaiah got some shrimp tacos it was time to go the weekend went by too fast but we had a good time so we took Isaiah back to campus he had stayed the weekend with us so we took him back and uh, said our goodbyes and then we went to the candy store y'all i found a good pecan candy store then we got on the road and headed for home and yes we stopped at bucky's i don't think i've ever took y'all inside the store i can't remember but um i'm gonna take y'all around them a little bit show y'all what they have they have everything inside they have clothes, they have candles, and just everything. It's like a big truck stop, but no trucks, y'all. And the food, mm mm mm. So I have a Bucky's BLT, or I'm sorry, Bucky's Club BLT. Ham and turkey with bacon, uh, lettuce and tomato. It had like a mayo, spicy mayo or something on there, but I didn't get that. Uh, they took that out for, well, they I had a special order, so I didn't get the, the mayo. So I got barbecue sauce instead, the Bucky chips, beaver chips, and 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 the cherry icy mr got the fajita and he loves that and then he got a i think a dr pepper mixed with uh what is that blue raspberry blue mm -hmm. something or another icy mm -hmm. so that's dr pepper there y'all see but i to chow down and it has cheese on it too i forgot about that Oh y'all, this is some messy eating, but it's good eating. Alabama A&M was right inside of the Alabama border. So you have to get off the exit, but go back into Alabama from Tennessee. That makes sense. <laughs> but we enjoyed her time at Alabama A&M. It was a good four years. And just like that, we are back home before dark. Thank goodness we had safe travels. Thank you, Lord. And by the time we got home, we were hungry again. So we got some wings from Mike's, some wings and fries, caught up on the game, and went to bed. See you next time.